Hello and welcome back to Homebrew EDH, where I take you through my personal commander decks, how they work, and how they win. This episode is Mogus, God of Slaughter. It is 2 black red for a 7-5 legendary enchantment creature god with indestructible. It reads, as long as your devotion to black and red is less than 7, Mogus isn't a creature. At the beginning of each opponent's upkeep, Mogus deals 2 damage to that player unless he or she sacrifices a creature. This is a group slug deck that aims to just be really, really annoying to our opponents and punish them for doing just about anything. With that, let's get into the episode. The first bit with this episode is different things our opponents can be punished for. The first one is drawing cards with Underworld Dreams and Fate Unraveler. Whenever an opponent draws a card, it deals one damage to them. The second bit is dealing damage in the upkeep. Skull Cage is two damage unless they have exactly three or four cards in hand. Sulfuric Vortex does two damage to everybody on their upkeeps. Quakebringer just says your opponents can't gain life. At the beginning of your upkeep, Quakebringer deals two damage to each opponent. This ability triggers only if Quakebringer is on the battlefield or if it is in your graveyard and you control a giant. The last bit for this is card denial with Rick's Mahdi, Dungeon Palace, and Gyre Reach Sanitarium, which have abilities to make our opponents discard cards and everybody draws cards and such. The next bit is a surprising amount of card draw in Black Red. We've got Electric Revelation, Faithless Looting, and Altar's Reap, all of which draws two cards at a time. Funeral Rites, Succumb to Temptation, and Thrill of Possibility to round out that list. And as an extra added bonus, Running Geth's Grimoire, which is a four-man artifact that reads, whenever an opponent discards a card from his or her hand, you may draw a card. Conditional card draw, but it still works. There's also some graveyard shenanigans in this deck, as it is Rakdos, so generally that happens. We've got Carrion Feeder, Plague Crafter, Fleshbag Marauder, Violent Tumor, Ulrich, Lore Mage, and Ruthless Knave as different kinds of sacrifice outlets, whether that be Enter the Battlefield triggers or just abilities that are able to put cards into the graveyard one at a time, which we can then recur, and then after that we will do cards that like it when other things go to the graveyard. So with the Graveyard Recursion, I'm just going to go through and list them all off one by one. We have Ever After, Cemetery Recruitment, Gruesome Menagerie, Grim Return, Persist, Recover, Unearth, Return from Extinction, Raise Dead, Macabre Mockery, and Claim to Fame. The last bit for this video are going to be cards that either want us to sacrifice things, want us to sacrifice themselves, or just want things to die in general. So to sacrifice permanence, we have Mayhem Devil and Havoc Jester, both of which deal one damage when we sacrifice things. Thrill Surgeon, which is a duress on a body, and Magus of the Wheel, which is a Wheel of Fortune on a body. And Judith, the Scourge Diva, and Zulaport Cutthroat round out this list of wanting things to die to deal damage, one damage at a time. If you guys enjoyed today's episode of Homebrew EDH, go ahead and leave a like. Subscribe if you want to see more like this. And as always, the deck list will be in the description with all the cards I did not include in this video. Constructive feedback and deck suggestions are always welcome in the comments. And until I see you guys in the next one, take it easy and enjoy your stay.